For many budding entrepreneurs, the idea of building up a business and being bought out is the end game. It certainly is a feather in your cap when a large corporation wants to acquire you. So for our Aluxers, with this goal in mind, we've put together a list of 15 of the biggest business deals of all time. Welcome to Alux.com, the place where future billionaires come to get inspired. If you're not subscribed yet, you're missing out. Time to familiarize yourself with how the big deals are made, so let's head to the boardroom, shall we? Number 15. CVS and Aetna $67.5 billion in 2017 In 2017, CVS acquired Aetna in what is considered the largest deal in health insurance history. It was a match made in heaven with the union of CVS, a big pharmacy chain and prescription drug insurer, and Aetna, a big health insurer in the USA. The deal took some time to come to pass as it had to be approved by antitrust regulators to assure there wasn't anything untoward in the acquisition. Once they were satisfied, CVS closed the sale with a price of $67 billion. It paid out in a mix of cash and stock, settling the $207 a share for Aetna in $145 in cash and the rest in stock value. Number 14. Aramco and Sopic, $69.1 billion in 2019. After a long engagement, the contract between oil companies Saudi Aramco and Saudi Arabian Basic Industries Company, or Sabic, was signed. Sabic received $69.1 billion for 70% of the company, the remaining 30% staying in public domain to be traded on the market. Aramco is on a mission to be traded publicly, but until it becomes more transparent in its management and diversifies in order to resemble other international oil companies, it'll be a while yet. This acquisition of Sabic, a respected chemical company, is a step in the right direction in terms of diversification for Aramco. Number 13. Travelers Group and Citicorp Merger – $70 billion in 1998 now on to finance. In 1998, Travelers Group was bought out by banking giant Citicorp. This historic deal saw $70 billion change hands, and the resulting company as we know it today is Citigroup Inc. Number 12. The Walt Disney Company and 21st Century Fox Inc. $71.3 billion in 2019. In March 2019, 21st Century Fox Inc. became the happiest place on earth when the Walt Disney Company officially brought them on board. The deal was done to the tune of 71.3 billion shares, making Disney Plus virtually unstoppable in terms of streaming content by expanding it directly into consumer offerings and international presence. They now have The Simpsons, Deadpool, and the Fox-owned Marvel characters like X-Men and Fantastic Four to their table, meaning the entire Marvel family could appear there. They add these brand names to their strong list of Pixar, Marvel, and Star Wars names plus FX networks and Nat Geo partners. The buyout strategically places Disney as having the controlling share of 60% of streaming channel Hulu. Now they get an extra 30% in Hulu as a part of the Fox deal. Disney has managed to move their silver screen to streaming seamlessly, but not all businesses adapt well to change. Find out which 10 businesses adapted successfully to change in our video all about it. Number 11. Sanofi and Aventis SA – $73.4 billion in 2004 the deal between Sanofi and Aventis is a bit of a Samson and Goliath situation. For some time, the smaller French drug company Sanofi Sintelabo was in a hostile bid for its much larger French pharmaceutical rival, Aventis SA. The French government pressured Sanofi to raise its bid to avoid a counteroffer by Swiss drug maker Novartis. Nationalism won out, and Sanofi increased its offer by 14% to $73.4 billion. Number 10. Exxon and Mobil, $81 billion in 1999. In the late 90s, Exxon was the industry leader in oil and gas in the US and the second fiddle was Mobil. When these two powerhouses merged in 1999, it was considered one of the most successful mergers and acquisitions in history. The deal cost $81 billion, but the resulting Exxon Mobil Corporation was worth every penny. Not all joint ventures go this swimmingly, though, especially when you add millennial unicorns to the mix. Stick around until the end to see one of the business deals that bombed badly. Number 9. H.J. Heinz and Kraft Foods, $100 billion in 2015 
When H.J. Heinz Co. and the Kraft Foods Group merged, they created the Kraft Heinz Company, which is the fifth largest food and drink company in the world. The deal became official in 2015, bringing the annual revenue of the merged company to around $28 billion in sales, made up of brands like Philadelphia Cream Cheese, Heinz Ketchup, HP Sauce, and Capri Sun. Number 8. Anheuser-Busch InBev and Saab Miller, $104 billion in 2016. Since 2016, the world's largest brewers have been drinking from the same glass. When Belgium's Anheuser-Busch InBev went knocking at the door of Saab Miller, it meant the bringing together of InBev's Budweiser, Stella Artois, and Corona, with Saab Miller's access to the growing African and Latin American markets. The deal was worth a cool $104.3 billion to Saab Miller, which by anyone's standards is a lot of beer money. Number 7. Altria and Philippa Morris, $107.6 billion in 2008. This deal is a little different to the others. Instead of a merger, this is a spin-off deal. This allowed cigarette company Philip Morris to split from the parent company Altria and focus on international business while Altria remained in the USA. The deal took place in 2008 with $107.6 billion changing hands. Recently, the two companies seem to be fanning the flame of romance once again, but in early 2020, the light was snubbed out and the companies remain autonomous. Number 6. United Technologies and Raytheon – $121 billion in 2020 The newest merger on the block is the United Technologies Corp. buyout of Raytheon in April 2020. The deal creates a new mega-merger in the aviation industry, worth a sky-high $121 billion. They now form the second largest aerospace company in terms of net sales, with a combined total of $74 billion in 2019. The two companies are hopeful they are each equipped with unique skills that will give them the capability to face challenges head-on during these unprecedented times, which will be important to keep their 195,000 employees safe from COVID-19. And if you're interested to see how companies are succeeding despite the coronavirus, why not click on the link in the corner? Number 5. Dow Chemical and DuPont – $130 billion in 2017 this deal is referred to as a merger of equals, but it was more likely a deal designed to shore up the power of both companies. The resulting company of Dow DuPont aims to create highly focused business in agriculture, material science, and specialty products. It wasn't all smooth sailing. The deal was first announced in 2015 and took two years to complete, but the newly formed company offers $3 billion in cost-cutting savings and a reduced tax bill. However, there will be staff layoffs as collateral. Number 4. Verizon Communications and Verizon Wireless – $132 billion in 2013 in what was one of the largest wireless mergers in history. Verizon Communications spent $132 billion on a company it already owned. Verizon Wireless was co-owned by Verizon Communications already, but in 2013, they bought out their partners Vodafone's 45% share in the company. This made Verizon the largest wholly US-owned wireless mobile carrier and led to an addition of 20 million subscribers in the two years after the deal. Number 3. Pfizer Inc. and Allergan PLC – $160 billion in 2016 Back to the pharmaceutical industry and our third largest merger on the list, thanks to the luck of the Irish. When American pharmaceutical giant Pfizer Inc. acquired Irish Allergan PLC, the resulting company Pfizer PLC meant the largest pharmaceutical corporation in the world was based in Ireland. The move was definitely strategic, as the Irish tax benefits are too good to be true, so Pfizer structured the deal to base the new merged company in Ireland, and overnight, Pfizer PLC became the largest business in the country. Number 2. America Online and Time Warner – $226 billion in 2000 not all big deals are good deals, and the AOL Time Warner merger proves that. In 2000, the dot-com bubble was in an all-time expansion. At the time, AOL was the world's top internet service provider, and Time Warner was the world's top media conglomerate. It seemed like a perfect match. The pair signed on the dotted line, and Time Warner forked over $164.7 billion, or $266 billion by today's rate. 
The expectation was the new entity called AOL Time Warner would dominate the news, music, entertainment, publishing, cable, and internet industries. The joint venture instantly became the largest technology company in America. However, just a year later in 2001, the dot-com bubble burst and AOL lost value faster than you could dial up your modem. By 2002, Time Warner posted record losses of almost $100 billion. The pair finally went their separate ways in 2009. At this point, AOL Time Warner stock had lost 90% of its value, from its $226 billion value to just $20 billion. Time Warner CEO Jeff Bukes later referred to the deal as the biggest mistake in corporate history. And want to know some more about companies that failed to keep up with the times? Then definitely check out our dedicated video all about companies who failed to adapt. Number 1. Vodafone AirTouch PLC and Manisman $287 billion in 1999 at the dawn of cell phone communication back in 1999, British Vodafone AirTouch PLC made clear moves to take over German wireless company Manisman AG. The feeling wasn't mutual, and Manisman refused the offer. The Germans were not open to allowing foreigners to own such large businesses. Vodafone came back with two more offers, slightly upping the ante, but the German company was not interested. To try and detract from their unwanted suitor, they began talks with French telecom giant Vivendi. Vodafone came back with a 5% increase, and finally, Manisman gave in. This was the first time a German company of this size and stature has ever been taken over by a foreign owner. The deal was signed for $202.8 billion, which today would come in closer to $287 billion, which 21 years after the fact remains the largest business deal in history and one of the dirtiest as well. And Aluxers, that brings us to the end. Which two companies do you believe will be the next big merger? We love hearing from you. Let us know in the comments. And for sticking with us until the end, here's your bonus. Shared office space is not a new concept, but when Adam Newman entered the market, he heralded WeWork's shared office as the answer to the world's accumulative prayers. But Newman somehow seemed to make investors forget about Regis and other reputable office space providers, and they poured billions into WeWork. The company, however, was not showing any profitability and wasn't on a trajectory to do so anytime soon. SoftBank seemed to ignore all the signs of irrational overvaluing and offered nearly $10 billion in investment to WeWork. When WeWork listed its public offering in August of 2019, the trouble really started. Investors began to question exactly what WeWork was other than some jazzed up rented properties and short-term office lease agreements that ran at a loss. The private valuation of the company was listed as $47 billion, but dropped to $10 billion in one month. The public offering was unceremoniously delayed. Adam Newman was removed as CEO with a $1.7 billion golden handshake. SoftBank was left with a company worth less than $5 billion a month later and is still plummeting. By November 2019, WeWork was forced to lay off 2,400 employees, and Adam Newman was on a beach holiday with his wife. Meanwhile, SoftBank was left to pick up the pieces of a company in complete freefall. I guess just proving there was no we in that team. Thank you for spending some time with us, Aluxers. Make sure to like and subscribe so you never miss another video. We also handpicked these videos, which we recommend you watch next. You can talk to us on all social medias or ask a question on our website, alux.com. Thank you for being an Aluxer, and we'll see you back tomorrow.